I'm going to show you a way to count in binary using the base 10 system as a comparison to understand how it all works. It's called a base 10 system because we work with 10 numerals from 0 to 9. This is our units, tens, hundreds and thousands charts. We're going to be working with the base 10 system for just a moment. To start off, if I'm counting items, I might begin with nothing to count. So I'm going to put zeros in all of these columns and that indicates that I have nothing. Now let's do some counting and update the chart. I'm going to count some squares. If I have one square, I need to change something on the chart, which is the units column. So I'm going to add one to the units column here because we have one item. Now, as I add more items, as you know, we continue to update the chart. So because I've got two items, I have two units. Now let's say I've counted all the way up to nine items. I'm going to put that I have nine units. A change occurs when I reach 10. Let's say we now have 10 items. I'm going to need to carry across because we have one lot of 10. Now, if I add one more item here, that's one lot of 10 and one spare. In our columns, we can see that it's the number 11. In base 10 systems, each column is 10 times greater than the previous. So we count by 1, 10, 100, 1000, and so on. You will notice this is different to a base 2 system in a moment. The binary system works with the base of 2. So this means that we're working with two numerals, which are 0 and 1. Previously, we worked with these columns, and we can do the same to explore binary because it can make it a little bit easier to understand when we work with something that we know. Each column is two times greater than the previous. So we're going to start with one. Now in the next column, it needs to be two times greater. So we're going to put two in the next column. Two times greater than two is four. So we put that in our next column. And two times greater than four is eight. So we put that in the next column. We could keep going, but today we will just work with four columns. Each of these columns is what we call a bit, which is short for binary digit. This is the smallest unit of data in a computer. Here we have a four bit binary number. Computers represent bits as either a zero or one, and you'll see what I mean when we work through this next example. Just like we did the first time, if I have no items to count, we're going to put zeros in each column to indicate that we have nothing. Now, if I have one object that I need to count and I want to transfer that information, I'm going to change this into one. If I add another item, now I've got two. So I'm going to do what I did before with the base 10 system and transfer one across because I've only got one one and we're only working with a zero or a one here. We're going to put a one here, indicating that we have one lot of two, and I'm going to put a zero here. If I add one more item, I'm going to have three, and this indicates that now I need to change something. And so I'm going to add a one in the ones column. Now I have three because two plus one equals three. What do you notice in the columns? Remember that computers use zeros or ones? What we have here in the columns is our binary code. 0011 is three in binary. If I add one more, then that means we have one group of four. So I need to put one in our four column and change the other columns back to zero. And here we have our binary number 0100, which is the equivalent to four. Often we refer to binary as either being on or off. So you can look at this chart here as well and see that we have an on, which is indicated by the one in the four column. And we have an off in both the two and the one columns, which indicates off. The sequence would be off, on, off, off. Instead of writing and using the base 10 system numeral four, we could write 0100. So we have used zeros and ones to say four. If you can remember that binary numbers double and the sequence of numbers is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and so on, then when you are given a binary number, you could work it out in your head or on paper what that number might be. Let's work one out together. We have the binary number 
one, zero, one, zero. Let's look at our columns. We have a one in the eight column, so we have an eight, and then we have another one in the twos column, so we add eight plus two, and we have 10. The binary number for 10 is one, zero, one, zero. Okay, now you have a turn at the next binary numbers. Pause the video and see if you can work it out. Zero, one, zero, one. That's five. One, zero, one, one. That's the number for 11. So far, we've been exploring binary using four bits, and this represents one, two, four, and eight. We call four digits or four bits one nibble. The most we can have in the columns we have been working with is 15 or the binary number 1111. What happens if we need to continue on counting? If all of our columns are taken with ones, so we have eight plus four plus two plus one, then we need to expand this to include new columns. Remember that the base two system doubles across each column. What do you think the next column will be? Yes, 16. Then we continue to double, so we have 32, 64, and 128. Eight bits grouped into two lots of four, which is what we have here, is called a byte. Traditionally, binary is grouped into fours, so you can continue to add sequences of four bits. So far, we've been practicing counting using our chart. How can we easily figure out the binary number for a numeric value we are given? Let's figure out what the number 29 would be in binary. The trick is to go to the largest possible number within that range. So I'm going to start with 16 because 32 is beyond 29. I'm going to put a one under 16 to indicate we switch it on or that there is one lot of 16. We still have 13 left over, so we're going to put a one in the eighth column to bring us up to 24. Now we have five left over, so we're going to put a one in the four column, which brings us to 28. With one left over, we put a one in the one column and we have 29. So our binary code for 29 is 00011101. Today we've looked at one way to count in binary. I'll leave you with one question. Can you figure out what your age is in binary?